hey what's going on guys previously we have seen how to create an if statement with one condition in this video we are going to see how to create an if statement using multiple conditions now let's look at an example let's say we have we are going to see a like we are going to check a good student and let's say if the student study 10 or more hours and if the student didn't beat up any any kid in the school he's a good student okay so let's uh, apply this condition and see who is good student and who is bad student now let's go ahead and create the integer for this first i'm going to create an integer the integer i'm going to name it as hours studied so this is going to be hours studied okay so first uh, hours studied let's say the the particular kit we are checking is studied 60 hours but the condition is we are going to create a condition whoever studies like uh, 60 hours or more or not 60 hours 10 hours or more 10 hour or more in a week is a good student okay and also the kid has to beat up zero kids so integer kids beat up uh, that is equal to let's say zero okay and the condition is we are going to say he has to beat up zero kids in order to be a good student so kids beat up should be zero now these are the two conditions we have created now we are going to introduce an if statement it's going to tell he's a good student some somebody is a good student if he studied 10 or more hours so beaten up not or like and beaten up zero kids because both of them has to be true in order to print out you are a good student now let's go ahead and create the if statement if statement first what i'm going to do like i put a general general pattern first what we do we put test one this is the one test it has to be satisfied in order to be a good student and then we have to put double ampersand sign and after that we have to create another statement and this one these two condition has to be test one and test two has to be satisfied in order to print whatever the printf statement we are giving okay so after that after if statement we have to put a curly bracket and we put a printf statement in this printf statement we are going to say you are a good student you are a good student okay but what is the test one test one is how many hours the kid studied so that's the test one so instead of test one i'm gonna copy i'm going to copy and paste this one okay copy and paste this one instead of test one and test two was how many kids he beaten up so that is test two so i'm going to copy and paste it over here so these are the two tests it has to be satisfied and the condition here is how a study should be greater than or equal to 10 now greater than or equal to looks like this greater than sign and equal so this is greater than or equal and it has to be 10 greater than or 10 10 or equal to 10 now the kids beat up should be greater uh, not equal to zero so whenever we want to say not equal actually it should be equal to zero right it should be equal to zero in order to be a good student so to put equal we put double equal sign and zero okay now let's go ahead and check whether the particular kit we took is a good kit or a bad kit. Now let's go ahead and run this code. Okay, let's see what results we are getting. Okay, something wrong here. I forgot to put a curly bracket. I should end with curly bracket. Now let's go ahead and run it again. <clears throat> okay okay it says you are a good student now we can like we can check multiple conditions so let's say some kids studied two hours in a week and he beaten up zero kids let's see what it's going to print it's going to print nothing because it's not satisfying these two conditions right here you can see it's print nothing because uh, whenever the these two conditions are not satisfied it's not going to print anything so that's why we have a blank and then we have something like this okay now let's try another condition let's say the kid studied really good student 
60 hours in a week but he beaten up like two kids so it's going to still it's going to print nothing because both condition has to be satisfied in order to be in order to get the print now here also you will see nothing because the both of them are not, not satisfied the first one is satisfied because that's more than 10 but the second one is not satisfied now let's see what happens if 10 and 0 if the kids study 10 hour and uh, beaten up 0 kids let's see what it's going to print but it should print because we created the if statement 10 or more hour so if, even if it's equal to 10 it should print okay it's pre it print uh, like it is printing you are a good student so here you can see this is how we create an if statement with multiple conditions i hope this helps thanks for watching if you want to see this code like don't forget to subscribe and if you want to uh, get this if you want to try this code this is in my blogger you can see it in my description thanks for watching see you next time